The following presentation outlines the current uses of the area, some considerations regarding uh, risks and, and problems uh, arising by the use of, of the area. Memorial Square Gardens is hidden away in central Kingston, providing a resting space for some and a space to enjoy the new fathers. It is an area of um, historic conservation. The fact that the gardens are often empty is one of the key points we aim to address. This is a key space in the town for considering this use getting away from the busy market and the high street. We have collected our data in different ways. We, through questionnaires, interviews, uh, pedestrian volume count and photographic recording. Uh, we purposely conducted our questionnaires at different times on different days throughout the space of one week. We also conducted our pedestrian volume count, so we actually stand there and try to understand what was the flow of people. One of the key demographic results we found was a surprising number of younger people using the space, despite often appearing underused or inhabited by the older generations. As should be obvious, any urban regeneration developments must be considered within a long-term cohesive strategic framework. Memorial Gardens doesn't have any lighting really to speak of. Um, the red dots on this map represent lighting everywhere else. Cars and delivery vehicles operate with impunity at the expense of pedestrian safety. The big one actually is the removal of cars and the cyclists. Um, people find them a pain. By removing traffic and car parking outside Memorial Gardens, pedestrians and cyclists will feel safer in the area. Opening the gate at the front of the gardens more often would create a more welcoming environment. Keeping the centre fence optional would mean that should it need to be closed off, it can. Um, by replacing the metal bars with green walls and hanging baskets, people will subsequently feel less enclosed and more um, included in the space. One of our key ideas for promoting footfall to the area is connecting Eden Walk to the gardens at the southwestern side as shown on the map. This would give shoppers easier access from Marketplace to Eden Street, while also promoting the shops that use Eden Walk, especially ones in close proximity to the gardens. We feel that through the provision of a unified, pedestrianised Kingston, positive benefits will be felt throughout the Kingston retail environment. I really want to emphasise the heritage of Kingston, talk about the contribution that made to aviation in the past, part of the wall that was part of Kingston. Um, so yeah, I'm just want to use that. And as they grow, they will become, it, will be, it will make the space greener, uh, but there are some things that we can do in the short term. We can put some flower beds in, for example. There are many features of the new site that would encourage greater use by groups. Appropriate lighting would limit the number of places crimes would be committed. Opening up the front gate allows people easier at exit and entrances with a more welcoming feel. Improving the street furniture gives more people a reason to use the site, even if it's just to relax during the busy day shopping. Finally, events can be used to bring together different groups of people who have all arrived to enjoy the same activity. What we think would be really good is to display some artwork uh, through the empty shop windows along this area, make it a place where people actually want to go there and then choose to walk through here rather than avoiding it. This could um, incorporate the idea of Made in Kingston, which we're told about the art from Kingston is um, promoted in that way. And we can make it part of the Art Movement Art Trail, which is a new scheme for Kingston Fest in 2013. The group that looked at their particular brief, but also in the context of everything else that was happening in the town, and there weren't actually that many groups that did that. Because some of them mentioned the yeah. about literature on social exclusion design, and some of them just did not touch on it yeah. at all. Yeah. Yeah. In some of them, they didn't go too much deep into the idea, and they just grabbed a bit of the concept that they did on. I think that was the nature of the project, yeah. that they were challenged possibly with a yeah. much more diverse and more expansive area. Yeah. They tried to take it all along. Yeah, so I think that's mainly, um, that's part of the brief issue. Mm. Yes. Uh, on behalf of Kingston First, thank you very much for your hard work. Us as a company, our whole job is to increase retail and the way town centres are moving. You have to give them more than just shops, you have to give them experiences and events and kind of cultural diversity. And you know, we recognise as a company that's kind of a wealth of talent at the university and we will work with you and we continue to work with you on a number of projects. So as a little thank you, we've got you some vouchers, courtesy of John Lewis and Waitrose, so if I could come up and present them to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers.
Well, I, I enjoyed the real world challenge of it. It's actually something that um, you know could potentially happen. Uh, I know that um, presentations that were given in previous years have affected uh, development that's happened in Kingston, and that was really exciting. All enjoyed doing the work, and we all enjoyed going and doing like the field work, and then going away and researching and doing it as a group. So I think that the prize is like a nice little bonus, but we actually enjoyed the work anyway.